Hello, beautiful diamonds of light. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. Today is November 1st, 2020. I am up here for an intuitive energy card reading for you, beautiful diamonds of light. All right. I hope all is well with each and every one of you all. When I tell you, let's get into this energy update with me. I can say that I had a beautiful, beautiful week with my daughter. But it was some trying times. I will say that Monday before she came in, she arrived at two. In fact, I actually, things started going bonkers a little bit. But it still worked out because I really stayed positive through it. And I knew within myself, no matter what it looked like and how I felt, that it was going to work out. So I didn't worry with it. I just let it do what it do. And I took on the energies that was here. Now, although the energies was beautiful, there was still some chaotic energies in the mix. Very strong, intense energies. It's like things was trying to fall apart and things were happening. But because of my strong will and my power, I was able to like maneuver or debunk it or still make what my will is and what my manifestation was work out. So it's like my energy and my insight was powerful enough to move the bull crap or whatever was coming at me energetically. It was like little crazy things was happening um, that, you know, <laughs> I knew it was energetically. And I just knew uh, I would work through it. Um, the Mercury re retrograde hit um, within this week, you know, uh, this past week. And it was intense. I really felt those energies. Um, we are actually into this new blue full moon. And when I tell you, I started feeling those energies uh, much before it started, it came in yesterday. So it's been a lot of intense energies on top of beautiful. It's all beautiful, but it's just been a lot going on. Okay. <laughs> so much. So, uh, um, physically I have really been going through it. Um, right now my, my, like my whole body is like literally vibrating. Okay. Uh, I've been feeling like intense physical, um, just all over that, and, and, and I can't des describe the the pulsation and that like the intense. It's like electrifying um, energy that goes through me. It's like every cell in my body all over just getting zapped. That's kind of how I can somewhat explain it. <laughs> but I have been working through it. I have been getting through it. And I'm here still in it, and I'm gonna get through it, okay? We all are, okay? Beautiful diamonds so like, Yes, things are intense right now. Um, I'm here to see what we're gonna have come in store for us for this week, November 1st, 2020, for the mind, body, soul, and spirit. Once again, I have my beautiful energy oracle cards, my beautiful goddess power oracle cards deck, and my beautiful star man tarot deck, okay? And um, yeah, my three special decks that I work with for you, beautiful diamonds of light, for the mind, body, soul, and spirit. Once again, this is November the 1st through November the 7th, 2020. Beautiful energy oracle deck. What do we have in store? What do the beautiful diamonds of light have in store? The collective for November the 1st through November the 7th, 2020. What do we have to look forward to this week? What is energetically in store for us this week? Okay. <clears throat> What do we have to look forward to? What is we looking forward to this week? Beautiful diamonds of light. Okay, what are we looking forward to this week? Oh, yes. Um, my daughter, she left out this morning. She flew back um, this morning, and I am going to miss her. Um, this is my second time seeing her. Um, like I said before, last time I seen her, she was 16. And before that, the last time I had seen her, she was four. Um, and then last time before now, she was 16. Now she's 19. And she says she's coming back again next year. I'll manifest before again. I want to see my baby before again. But I have things that I'm working on. And I'm trying to straighten things out. And I'm still trying to um, get things situated with my other daughter to hopefully... Things get together with my mom. Get, my mom get things going right with her, so I can actually. I need a little space. Um, we just. Um, my mom needs some responsibilities. My daughter needs some valuable lessons learned. Um, 
so she can realize how good she got it and gratitude. I'm not trying to throw my daughter away. I just need some space. And that's my that's my enlightenment, the space that I need it spiritually. Um, yeah, so that's my next move. So I'm still gonna be busy trying to get things together to see about um, sending her. Uh, I already bought her plane ticket, but uh, the thing is, it's like at the end of the day, it's about all about what my mom does. So um, I really ask you, beautiful diamonds of light, just to put positive energy towards my situation because. I really need this. This is a spiritual thing that I know that I have been guided to do for me to be able to move forward. Um, because although we have kids and we love them and kids are gonna be kids, sometimes when anybody or anything is unhealthy for us, we have to depart for it. And I have to depart from it sometimes forever, sometimes just short and shortly and temporarily. And it's just a temporary thing because it just needs to be done. Um, so I can work on some more blocks, you know. Um because I've done all I can do. And sometimes, no matter how much love and embracing we give people, um, when they're dealing with their own stuff, or you know, if you can't help them, then you gotta find other solutions, all right? So you can also, at the end of the day, it's about helping yourself and trying to help others. And I'm always here to make myself better and heal myself in my process so I can be healthy and in my right high heart and mind to be able to assist my family as well as you beautiful diamonds of light um but yeah this is the first card that's coming out victory for the mana hmm, i like that so let's jump right into it you no know, it's just a little spat of me and what else i got going on but like when i say it's been some very combative and all kind of energies going on um that you up against so know that when things come at you, try to try not to let it be you being the uh, <laughs> the one that's uh, L and everything, okay? And if you even if you're not, don't let the other stuff that you know comes at you cause you to be so out of character that you lower your vibrations that you're not happy with yourself. And if you do do something or something do happen. Please don't stay in the sunken place. You got to get up out of it. It's always the spark of light that's there to help you to move on and move forward from whatever situation you might have encountered. Okay? So let's see. Mind was here, body, soul, and spirit. What we got going on? Okay, beautiful. I was like, let's see what we got going on. Okay? And I'm going to just jump right into it. I'm not very talkative because it's late here. <laughs> like I say, I've been busy, busy, busy. And I am very tired. I did take a nice good nap. I thought I took my daughter to the airport this morning. Um, yes. We had a ball. It was funny. It was fun. I'm comical, so I had her and her boyfriend laughing. <laughs> he probably think I got two good cents. But I was so glad to have that company and entertain them. And they really enjoyed their self. Uh, they went to their little B&B after um, she, they spent the night here. And then she watched her sisters while I went on my little anniversary getaway slash early birthday getaway. So I did get to do that with my beautiful fiance. We had a wonderful night together. We never get to do things like that. So it was nice, okay? And seeing my daughter was amazing. We did some we did some amazing things together. We really enjoyed our time together. I, I, I'm I so looking forward to back to having her back. And then after my other daughter and all, her, all of them coming back and us all being back together, uh, together again. But know that separation is all right. You know, as long as you just love there and y'all embracing each other and staying in touch. So me and her always stay in touch. But let me stop with my boring life. <laughs> it's not boring for me, but it's probably, you all probably don't want to hear it. But it's been good. It's been a good, good, good week. So, but it was also some chaotic energy. So, like I say, I faced some things, okay? Oh, we had, how many cards jump out? We had two. So, we have, ooh, mind, body. Let's get right to it. So, I'm going to do it like this. And spirit. Ooh. Look at that moon card jumped out. And it's a blue card. So, you know, hey, stuff be on deck. Let's, I can't lie about that. I can't front about what the magic is, you know? <clears throat> Let's see. And the beautiful star man, Tara, that. Thank you. What do we have in store? Thank you, beautiful goddess. 
power oracle deck for your unfoldings. Now, let's see what the beautiful Storm Man Tarot deck, what I call my future deck, has in store. Really just confirmation for the first two cards that I unfolded in each column. What do we have to look forward to? The beautiful Dom's Delight, the collective for November 1st through November the 7th, 2020. What do we have to look forward to? What is the final confirmation for the beautiful diamonds of light? Yes, 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 yes. What is, what is going on? Okay, this week. What is going on this week? Mind, body, soul, and spirit. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna do this. Let's do this. Let's get it. We have, in the first column to do with the mind, let me move the sage and stuff out of the way. We have the victory card, upright. We have the beautiful goddess, Maya. The truth card, upright. I'm gonna show you her. Yes, yes. <laughs> And we have the Prince of Wands of White. <clears throat> so let's see what I'm intuitively getting. I love it. I love the victory card. I love the truth of card coming behind it. So <clears throat> obviously there's some truths that's going to be coming out, some things that's going to be coming forth. Um, That's really going, some truths. But it's like truths are coming out and victories are going to be won. With the Prince of Wands being the uh, final confirmation, what I'm getting is, yeah, I see this fox. It's like a, it's like the sneaky fox is gonna get caught. All right, um, the truth of things that's been going on, um, the truth of uh, the the truth of gonna be coming out of things that's been going on in the dark. Okay, the sneaky foxes and the sneaky stuff and all this other crap that's been hidden. Um, it can be individually in your life, but this is a collective as a whole. So it's something that's going to go on or come out uh, in the truth as a whole that's really going to help uh, relieve a lot of stuff that was going on. Um, and it's going to be victory behind it. It's like, I'm getting like through the dark ages. And through the dark ages, there are many stages, but in certain stages of the dark ages, things are coming about, like stuff from the dark times, the stuff that's been accomplished, uh, stuff that's been brought back about from the dark ages, is going to be brought forth. The truth is going to be all that bull crap is going to be coming out, okay? And <clears throat> we're going to get victory over this stuff because the people... We want to know the truth. We need to know the truth. We need to know what's going on so we can know what we need to do to better adapt, to better equip ourselves, to better uh, maneuver or move in a certain way, okay? So, but it looks like we're going to have the victory. It looks like we're going to have the victory. Yeah. It's like the... They can no longer... Uh, Hide in the shadows. The shadows are going to be, uh, <laughs> you know, shadow can all, shadows will be seen in the, you can bring, that's how you find the shadows, is when you bring in the light. So it's a lot of energy coming, it's a lot of light, a lot of high vibrations that's here, that's bringing forth on this pop planet. So with all that, you see the shadow, you see my hand, if you can see the shadow back here in my painting from the light. Yeah, that that light is bringing out what's truth. You can't mimic. It's mimicking exactly, or it's just it's following exactly what I'm doing. But it's my shadow. So things that's been going on in the dark, you're gonna be able to see it now. It's not gonna no longer be dark where they can do things in the shadow and the things. It's like your shadow self. It's having to be brought forward. The things that's been going on 
around the world is having to be brought forward. And at the end of the day, it's going to be victory because we're going to feel good. We're going to know stuff. The things are going to be brought forward for us. The truth is going to be brought out. And it's going to feel good. We're going to be like, finally, finally things are being done. Finally. Especially us, the, uh, those of us who knows like, the truth or been, you know, looking into the truth and intuitively have insight on things. Like, we've been waiting on things. And this time, those things are being hung. So something this week is going to be brought forth. Um, some some darkness, some stuff that was hit, lurking in the darkness and the shadowing is going to be unveiled. Um, some truths is going to be, yeah. Yeah, some truths is going to be brought forth. And it's going to be like the victory is like, it's, it's golden energy everywhere. It's like you finally won. You're finally grateful that this stuff that's been, you know, going on is finally going, it's something finally going to be done about it, okay? Whatever that is for you, but I'm not, as a whole, this is as a whole that I'm picking up right now is that, yeah, look forward to some things coming out this week, okay? But it's going to be, a, it's going to be stuff that needs to know. It's going to bring forth victory. Let's see what we got going on with the body, okay? We have the second chakra, Arc Ariel in reverse. Okay, that's to do with the sacral. That's to do with the emotions. Um, followed by, followed by Yahi, Ayihi, the Sun Goddess. Upright. I love it. And. Followed by the three of wands in reverse. So, yeah, with the sun card, the sun card is to me what I'm getting to is it representing the victory card and also the truth card. Um, because uh, once again, that that light, that that essence. But with this truth coming forward, with these things is coming out, it's gonna have a lot of people feeling really. It's it's gonna be sad stuff. It's going to be heartfelt stuff. It's going to be emotional stuff. It's going to be stuff that we, a lot of people, that's the world around the world is not ready to hear. And we already been hearing stuff like that's been going on anyway. People are shot by, but it's going to be some more stuff going to be revealed. You're going to be like, what really that person? Why? Who? And then, you know, even in personal matters, like it's going to be some things the truth brought forward in your own personal lives. But, yeah, as a whole in this world, it's going to be so like people are not going to be feeling good emotionally in this area. And call on uh, Archangel um, Ariel to help you with these emotional um, downward feelings towards the truths that will be revealed. Because they're not going to be things that we want to hear. There's things, like I said, it's things coming out of the dark. It's things coming out of the shadows. It's, it's uh, dark age stuff coming to be brought forth. The, the truth about what they've really done in the history. The truth about what they've really done to the people. The truth about what's really been going on uh, with uh, a lot of things. I mean, I don't want to say in-depth stuff because I'm not really getting there right now. But it's economically, um, historically with um, traditions, with everything that we know of that has systematically been set up and taken place. A lot of truth is going to be brought out of why things have been the way they've been, why people, certain people suffer, why this and this. And this. It's just going to be a lot of everything just flickering out, coming out. And it's like, it's going to be so much. And it's going to be so emotional and heartfelt. And it's going to be like, a lot of people are going to really be upset and they down about this stuff, okay? It's not going to be easy to take these truths. And with the three of swords in reverse, but it's something that we can get through. It's it's the unfolding of the darkness. It's gonna be able to help us to paint the pictures that uh, the the pictures that really need to be painted. It's gonna be able to help us to be able to know what we're really healing through. What we because sometimes when you know the truth about things, you can address them and you can heal from them. So if we don't know the truth about things, and we don't understand why things going went went on, uh, happened the way they happened. It's kind of like you're just trying to like. Uh, move in muddy water, right? It's 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 murky. It's it's hard to move. I'm moving quicksand. It's like 
how do you know how to get out of that uh, or, or survive in that if you don't know how it first started anyway? So maybe if you understand why these things occurred, you would understand how to figure out solutions to, you know, battle against it or work against it or work through it or find an easier solution to get out of it. So it's like because of the truths, it's gonna be heartfelt. It's gonna come forward, but we're gonna be able to un. We're gonna be able to heal through. We're gonna be able to paint new pictures. We're gonna be able to address them in, uh, you know, a, a better way. Because now we know. Now that we know these things, now we can go in. We can understand why. Why and what happens to a lot of our ancestors? Why uh, in certain areas and certain things? Why people? was treated this way the truth what was stolen all the things that's been stolen from people ancestors from like mine for example and many others like it's gonna be so many truths <laughs> coming forward and you know things that's been done around this world to kids to women to men to different races like come on it's gonna be an unfolding events which a lot of us already know about a lot of things but it's some people that's not very aware of things and these things are finna come out and it's gonna be like, what am I to do? Why, why I can't believe this? And it's gonna be very emotionally traumatizing for some people. But we have the victory card. We have the goddess here. We have the sun here. So some support here. It's some energetic support to help us through these. And like I said, we're gonna be able to heal these things because we're gonna be able to address these things. We're gonna be able to look at these things from a, a, a better point of view. Okay. Let's see what we got going on in the. So, we have the woman holding her heart in reverse. We have the goddess. Hmm. For what's her name? It's in reverse. Okay, first and foremost. It's in reverse for um Branwen for forgiveness. Let me show you it right. This is the goddess Branwen. Okay. And it's in reverse for forgiveness and then we have the princess of wands in reverse so yes um with the woman holding her heart in reverse and the forgiveness card in reverse and then we have the princess of wands in reverse it's like uh, people are gonna be mad bat shit mad about things that's gonna be brought out and brought forth um People are not going to be wanting to forgive the stuff. People are going to be set and uh, killed and be killed type of mindsets. But that's not the way we're going to have to operate. We're going to have to operate in love. We're going to have to really, really dig deep and really do that healing and really not say we have to necessarily deal with the people or whatever, but we will have to forgive them. But people are not going to want to forgive for all the stuff. Because it's going to be so much dirt, so much stuff that's been done that we're going to find out about in this week to come. Probably the rest of the year and, 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 and moving forward. It's like one thing after another is going to be unfolding. It's going to be so much. It's going to be so in-depth. It's going to be so like detrimental. It's going to be so traumatizing. And it's going to be a lot of energies that's just whirling through the, the so fast and so vast this week and in this month coming to everything is gonna to have to come down. Cause we in, we finna go on rapid purging, okay? When I say rapid purging, it's like rapid purging because winter is coming. And before winter get here, <laughs> so things gotta be brought forth and brought out. And this is just what energetically, because the golden age is coming in, that's what the sun is representing, okay? So no longer can that dark, that, that lower vibrational, uh, mindset what all about this rational things done physically um, let me sexual any kind of way all that stuff is not going to be able to stand anymore so a lot of stuff that's been being done is going to come forth and it's going to come out even through your personal lives listen when shit start hitting the fan in your family don't worry about it at the end of the day you got to know who you are and don't let nobody um try to tell you what you need to do with your life. You focus on your life. You know what you're doing and you do it, but don't let other people dictate or tell you what you need to do. As long as it's, you know, you're moving positively and you're doing things healthily. 
All right, because truth is going to come out. A lot of people ain't going to like your truths. A lot of, you're not going to like a lot of people's truths. But at the end of the day, you got to do what's healthy for you. And forgiveness is key, okay? Forgive yourself, forgive others, whatever. But it's going to be a lot of this energy going around where people are not going to want to forgive. And, yeah. And this feminine energy is very intense with this area. It's like a lot of, more than anything, women, the women that are going to be devastated for this, from this. The heartfelt stuff that energetically that women are going to be dead, that, that happened to women, that, and not trying to be biased or anything, but the feminine as, essence is stepping up. The divine feminine is stepping up boldly, okay? And it's needed in this time. And that power itself is going to make all the wicked, dark, energetic, negative aspects of the feminine bicep to be uh, done away with. We can no longer play in this foolery as women. And it's going to be heartfelt that a lot of stuff that um, just going to be called, just uh, women that's going to be called out. It's just not going to be, it's not going to look good for, for, for a lot of so-called people that are women or men that we look up to or that we thought we did or celebrity, any of that. Even in our family, you know, it's going to be like some disappointments. But know that these things must be done. Rapid purging, the truth has to come out. The truth has set you free. And sometimes the damn truth hurts. It's just, that's just what it is, okay? But know that you can get through it. Um, soulfully call on your divine ancestors and your divine guides, whoever you work with to come in and guide you and help you assist you in these heartfelt moments because they're not going to be easy to address. They're not. I've already been feeling these energies coming in. I've already been feeling this stuff already. And a lot of things have not been easy to address. And decisions you're going to have to make about